I met Danny. Uh, he described the script and the whole story of the film in a fantastic way. He said, Act One is about vision, Act Two is about revenge, and Act Three is about wisdom. And just those three words as a composer were so much to grab hold of. And we had this crazy idea of trying to write three different scores uh, for the film, one for each act. And we didn't know if it'd work, but we kept at it, and that's what we've ended up with. Yeah, I mean, when you've got like a, like Aaron's script is, is phenomenal. And when you've got something like that, you've got to respect it and also make sure there's a lot of space for the dialogue in the film. Um, so that's one of the hardest things is trying to create a score that basically has an identity, but still has space for dialogue and can push the emotional beats and the emotion in the film. 1984, the first act, I used equipment from 1984. I used synthesizers from 1984 to try and capture that optimism that technology and computing would bring. Um, and so I basically got to live out my synth geek fantasies. Uh, and then uh, 1988, set in the San Francisco Opera House, used the oldest computer of all time, an orchestra, wrote an opera. That was quite good fun, quite hard work. And then uh, the third act, we used the computers of today uh, to write a digital score uh, to embrace basically what computers have become and reflect what Steve had become by that point in the story. I think, as anyone who's interested in computing technology, he was the first influential figure who recognized that computers were more than just machines for databases and accounting. He recognized the artistic and creative potential of computers and also the aesthetic uh, qualities they could, they could hold. And I think through that, he changed so much because he allows so many of us to be creative in ways we could never have imagined like 20 years ago. I have a box on my desk about that big, which is the new uh, you know, Mac Pro. That's equivalent of like a million pound recording studio 20 years ago. And to have that just lying on your desk now is phenomenal.